Every now and then a break It's needed from all these greetings and meetings I'm thankful that I can be in But I need a break Cause this life can be suffocating Traveling different locations Trying to get this money made And I believe in that I need it It's either he's been to the seed And my seed is in need of exceeding We and repeat Yo, what's going on? This is Current Climate all right, all right. My name is Christian Dane You say something to the people <laughs> Go with this <laughs> <sighs> it sounds like it sounds like horses walking on a hard. Brick that road. is hello to the people who don't understand that native See, it's, tone. It's, look, it's get in tune. First off, first off, with that, your native tone. That is not hello. I can guarantee you. All you doing is you got no clue what you're saying. You sound like a Navi. <laughs> That's what you sound like a Navi from Avatar. You do not sound like Africans. <laughs> Technically, I already said something, but I'll introduce myself as. Hi. Uh, right here, we'll be doing the review for. War for the Planet of the Apes. Oh, that was awesome. <clears throat> yes. Caesar and his apes are forced into a daily conflict with an army of humans led by a ruthless colonel. After the apes suffer unimaginable losses, Caesar wrestled with his darkened instincts and began his own mystic quest to avenge his kind. <laughs> As the journey finally brings them face to face, Caesar and his colonel are pitted against each other in an epic battle that will determine the fate of both their species and the future of the planet. Damn, Guys, that was pretty good. Um, what do you think about good. what did right, you so think about the movie? On, uh, on Saturday, <clears throat> Sean, how do you feel? Uh okay. Let's, yeah, let's break this down. Um, I got a lot of different feelings about the movie. I think the movie spoken metaphors uh the entire movie i do think it was the best uh, i'm i'm going between this one and rise yeah Yeah, i'm I'm going i'm going between war for the planet of the apes and rise of the planet of the apes for the best one i'm i'm going between those because rise was a great it was great storytelling yeah rise was great storytelling this one was great storytelling too. I mean, this one had a, a great antagonist. Really he wasn't in it as much as I thought he was gonna be, but when he was in it, he knocked it out of the park. Yes. I mean, this Woody Harrelson, he always knocks it out of the park ever since Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I must you know, say right now. Sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name. Dum 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 right. dum. <laughs> First, I want to say the CGI in this movie. Oh, my God. It, was, it, it got was, to the point where it was creepy. It, oh, it, it was, was like, scary. Are these actually real monkeys? Like, 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 seriously, you could not tell. No. It's nothing in the movie. Dude. When they said it was groundbreaking CGI, Whoa. I thought they were just saying that because they say that about every movie. Bro. I, I I literally could not there tell. There was times when I think one of us said, wow, this looks amazing. Yeah. Like, there was times, like, it looked... I'm, people, I'm telling y'all, we're not just saying that just because it was like prison of the moment type of thing. No, it was amazing how good the hmm. CGI looked. That, like it was, it, it looked like real apes. It was good. It's nothing. And, and to tell you the truth, probably everything in those scenes was CGI. Yes. Not just the apes. Pro- the snow. Yeah. Uh, the backgrounds, all of that was yeah. CGI. Was so amazing. they deserve credit for every bit of that. They they better win. The Academy Award. They gotta win something for for um, everything that they done. On so it's the, up uh, there, like visually with like Interstellar. If I mean, yeah, visually, visually, if we, if we go in CGI, it's the best CGI work I've ever seen. Yeah, okay. from beginning from beginning to end. I mean, the whole entire movie. I think there's probably a handful of cast humans that talked. Yeah. For the whole movie, it was mainly apes and sign language. Yeah. It was amazing. Mm, yeah. Um. So let's break down uh, characters. Caesar. Caesar was great as usual. I liken Caesar in this movie to Moses. I think he had a lot of characteristics. <laughs> okay. Moses. So for those who haven't seen the movie, and please do see it um, so you could comment on this. This movie had a lot of. Apparently you got some spoilers coming. A so. lot of spoilers. Um, this movie, there is a lot of scenes that made you think of other things. Like, and they did it on purpose. Like a lot of metaphor scenes that they did on purpose. Um, like slavery for one. Yeah. Um, it, it was weird like that. Even at the end, it had a Moses feel. It did. It had a Moses feel with Moses. You know, Moses actually. And ooh, I, ooh, I ooh. hate doing spoilers, but I guess I got to. Moses leading his people to the promised land, and it take him so long to get there and be on such a tough journey. But Moses himself doesn't actually get to experience the promised land because 
God takes him before that happens. Yes. And it's kind of what happened with Caesar. Caesar done everything imaginable that he could do to see that his family and the apes and his kind got to where they needed to go. Caesar, Caesar was like between Moses, Martin Luther King, and Malcolm X, in and Jesus. John F. Kennedy. And Jesus. like and, Yeah, and Jesus Christ, all in the same thing. I mean, he had cross moments where he was like up on display on a crucifix type uh, of thing yeah crucifix it was very it's very eerie it, it had it had slavery references mm-hmm. it had caesar actually stopping um a ape from being beaten and taking the lashes himself uh it, caesar stood toe to toe with the antagonist with a gun pointed to his head that's how dedicated caesar was to actually seeing that his I people was got shocked for it them wasn't... To, to for them to get these messages across you know sometimes with these movies they don't let them ever since get out i mean like i kind of opened my eyes up to a lot of movies this was just really blatant i mean a lot of things in this movie yeah. was just they weren't even <laughs> subliminal so they was it like stuff. likening into uh things that really happened in american history yeah well in a sense or not just american history or world moments, history like things like things that he experienced like what it was was any anything dealing with somebody with a group of people being oppressed that the the movie harkened back to it so yeah. it, it's just like the apes were being oppressed um even when woody harrelson came out shaving his head Made, I'll give it like a skinhead reference. Yeah, it gave us but like a skinhead reference. Back to like the slavery days. It was weird because, okay, so they wanted the apes to work. They wanted the apes to build a wall. Before they killed them. Hmm. They were going to kill them regardless. Yeah. They wanted them to build a wall. So while they're doing this, they have other apes who I guess were like Uncle Toms who were working with the humans to beat the apes that are working. Out of fear. Strange enough, one of the apes was like a white ape. Name Winter. Yeah. Like, it was just really... <laughs> light skin. Yeah, light, a light skin ape. Yeah. It, it, it was really... It was just weird. I was like, whoa. Like, are they really doing this? Are they really getting away with this? I was like, this is this is really direct and in your face. This is not subliminal what about, at all. But I, actually, but I like the fact that they done that because they needed to show how the apes had to go through oppression. You know, yeah. the apes were looked down on. Yeah. And at the end... Uh, to be honest with you, it added a lot of depth to the movie. Oh, it was a lot of depth. A lot of depth. But to be honest with you, the writing was so good. Whenever you can have a war with animals versus humans, and you can somehow convince the audience to root for the animals and not your human race, I feel like they've done their job. I feel like us. We had a common <laughs> enemy in this movie. <laughs> 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 let me let me ask y'all this: What about the main antagonist? Woody Woody did a great job. You can't say nothing negative about Woody. He done a I think he done a good job. Did, what, was it a reason he was doing what he you know? Oh yeah, what he, was he, doing? he always anytime if if you're gonna have a good antagonist in a film, it, was it warranted? To, it's got to be warranted. He's got to have logic behind what he's doing, and it's got to be understandable to a degree. And it was understandable. Yeah. I could understand why, even though I don't I don't think I could have went as far as he was going with some. Uh, um, he lost his mind. Yeah, he went crazy. But but he he was dedicated. He was. I mean, he was dedicated, and he didn't. He didn't not do to himself what he had done to others. He held himself to that same standard that he held others to. Correct. So, yeah, he was a good villain, though. I mean, he wasn't a a, a Joker, you know, uh-huh. type of villain or nothing like that. For his part, though, he was good. Okay. Other, but it was more about Caesar and the apes and other characters. So I mean, so, so the cast. So the, of course, they had Caesar played by Andy Serkis. They had uh. He Woody, needs, He deserves. That's what I want to talk about. Uh. His performance as Caesar, um, he carried the movie from beginning to end. He carried the whole movie. I mean, Woody Harrelson had his parts too. Woody Harrelson gave an amazing dialogue where he spoke for probably about four or five minutes straight, and it was amazing. I mean, he was probably in the room by himself. It was probably all CGI in there, but he gave this dialogue, and it was just great. I mean, it was so much emotion. And let and me th- let me ask y'all this question about Andy Serkis and uh, Ricky. Uh, uh, he he posed this question a while back. Is it time for Andy Serkis to be recognized for an Oscar? He's already been recognized. I well, think it's actually time. win. I think it's time for him to to win. But of course, we hadn't seen half of the movies that that the Academy is going to nominate for our Academy Awards this year. So we don't know about the other great performances right, that's right. coming because most of the most of the Oscar worthy movies come out around November, December. Yeah. Stuff like that, close to Oscar time. So we hadn't seen mm-hmm. any other Oscar awards. But you know, the Oscar right sometimes now, a lifetime deserves, achievement award. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. After so, he d- he deserves to get recognized. Recognized, not necessarily win. I don't. I, I doubt he'll win for but it. major recognition. But I remember when he got 
recognized for doing Gollum in Lord of the Rings two times. Okay, okay. Which is one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, he definitely deserves to be in uh, they, the conversation. For they it. had a young girl in the movie uh, played by uh, Mia Miller. Her name was Nova. She did not say one word through the whole movie. Yeah, we don't got to waste time talking. I time like I like the emotion with her eyes, though, man. She had to portray a lot. She, I movie. mean, she did. She had to do some great acting. I mean, I, it's hard to act without That's talking. what I'm saying. Like, you, you can't really overlook yeah. that. I mean, there's been a lot of performances by kids this year that are really good, starting with Logan. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's been a lot of, a lot of kid performances. It's been amazing. Uh, my favorite, Bad Ape. Bad Eight was probably the funniest thing. Oh, he was hilarious. I'm telling you now, Bad Eight came out with that outfit. Bad yeah. Eight would clean on their ass. Yeah. Bad Eight's <laughs> hat and a sweater jacket matched. Yeah. Bad Eight had amazing sense of style he, to be an he, ape. He, if if it was gonna be any comedic relief in this movie, he filled it. He and it wasn't it. too much. And it it wasn't too. It, it wasn't, wasn't so much comedic relief like. One of my biggest problems with Captain America: Civil War is that they they went overboard with the comedic relief. I thought I thought it was intense, and then it got too too Disney and funny, and then it went back dark again. With this movie, they didn't make that mistake. Nah, this was they perfect. did not go over the top comedy. He just added a little something just to break the tension because it was a tension filled movie. It was perfect. It, it was it, tension. It was kind of like in it. Get Out. Yeah. How the guy would, when he would call his friend on the phone and yeah. get that little that little spice of comedy, just break but then break be, up, yeah, B- break up the monotony of the yeah. of the tone. That it was the a, dark tone they, of the movie. It was perfect how they did that. I mean, yeah. it was just like it was at the right time. It wasn't too much. Yeah, and it just his character had a little bit more depth than I thought he was gonna have. Oh, he did. Because in the beginning, he, he came off really sincere and really scared, nervous. When the little girl tried to touch his stuff, he's like, nope, nope, give that back to yeah. me. And then later yeah. on, he became funny. Like it was really the writers did an amazing fucking job of trying to give these apes human emotions like they try to like yeah, this they did humanize them i mean they they literally make you pull for the apes yeah now That's we're human now right now yeah they was, they they can convince you to pull for the apes it was amazing it was amazing um do you like the way it ended this was so this so now we know this is a trilogy for this set were you happy with how it ended i personally think that it's about to go into a Planet of the Apes series. It may, it may. So I, I, I think that well, it, but, it started with Rise. The middle was done. Now this was War for the Planet of the Apes. Well, I think now it's a Planet of Apes. Yeah, but now, now they're gonna start a new trilogy. I, yeah, this, I think this right here is a Planet trilogy right here. And this, Art, yeah, and this, it's, the, the script was gonna be flipped, so it's yeah. gonna be the humans yeah. oppressed. Yeah. And, you you know, and I can't confirm that. I I haven't rumors. heard. I I haven't. But even, you just think that's. But what I it's just in. think it's going into. Why stop now? It's making money. They're doing great. Yeah, Every day, one of them in great. This day and reviewed. age. Yeah. If it's making money, um, they're gonna. Uh, if it's it, making money, they're gonna keep doing it. I think they should go. What and a, Cornelius uh, is okay. actually in the original ones. Mm-hmm. He's are, actually the leader in the yeah. in the original. Are ones. you happy with how so. it ended? I'm happy. With, I mean, it hurt me to to watch what happened. Yeah, it's a lot of emotion. It hurt me that Caesar died. It did. But, I wasn't. I but, didn't expect that. A lot of people did. I'm like, and I didn't see that coming. Actually, I didn't. I thought that he was gonna be able to experience mm-hmm. it. But you know, it seems the path of great men or great apes to not see their journey fulfilled. It seems the path of great <laughs> men to die before the journey is finished. Yeah, that's deep. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, John F. Kennedy, Abraham Lincoln, Biggie Smalls, Tupac. Biggie Smalls, Tupac Shakur. <laughs> I mean, they're still, you know, great American entertainers. So it 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 seems like that's Lord the Jesus, path. don't take Jay Z away from us. Please <laughs> yeah. don't take over. <laughs> it it seems it does seem though like it's a a foregone conclusion yeah. that if you're a man on a mission and you're leading an oppressed people anywhere, you and you, you're the biggest target. You ain't gonna make it. You're the biggest target. <laughs> you shouldn't make it. You ain't gonna make it. I won't it. say yeah. you should make it, but you are the face right. of whatever that oppression is in the leader, you're the face of it. And if, if you get cut off, if the enemy cuts you off, then he's got the people. So you're the targeted one because you're out in front. So I get it. I did not want to see with, anything. With Caesar dying, though, do you think that they can find another character that can drive the Planet of the Apes movie? Because so. it's kind of Caesar's story. Yeah, in I, a think, sense. I think with the Cornelius, yeah, they can yeah. start off with Cornelius saying that his father died and left him this this civilization for him to man himself they got big shoes to fill though oh, oh. So they got to do better than andy be circus i agree i mean golly hopefully he's good hopefully man. andy circus really from this point on he's about to be in black panther he's gonna probably be in infinity war i hope from here on he really gets recognized for the great actor that he is yeah i feel as though when people talk about great actors well, he's an ugly guy and i think that that may have something to do with <laughs> but why a lot of the best actors yeah, but the ugly. Same. 
Who? Who? How, how many ugly actors and actresses do you know? Hollywood only um, recognizes. Are you talking about I mean, but you, you may be talking about what well, Adrian Brody. Do you consider him a, a big actor? He's huge. He's ugly. Morgan Freeman. Morgan. Morgan Freeman. Freeman. Morgan Freeman been old. Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson is one of the most. Forrest Whitaker. Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> You've been on Sarah. You don't like Sarah Jessica Parker. Oh my God. Oh. Sarah Jessica Parker was decent looking in Hocus Pocus. She, decent. I she agree. was she, she was the only decent. attractive one in Hocus Pocus. You naming one out of maybe twenty five movies. Yeah. And she had sex in the city. But Sarah Jessica Par- Parker, if you listening, um, <laughs> what's I love up? you. Um, out of six <laughs> out of six stars, what do you give this movie? The uh, <clears throat> the current already, climate. Oh, no, wait a minute. We already at that point. Yes. The current climate six star system invented by yours truly. <laughs> six star system. Shard. Um I hadn't thought about it enough. You gotta give the people. I'm I'm not gonna be able to grade it right now. Cause I'm still going between Rise and War. I mean I wouldn't give it a six. Person I'd give it a five. A five? Five. <laughs> I go five. Wait a minute. Okay, okay, we're gonna do this now because we had this conversation right after we got out of the movies. Rotten Tomatoes gave it like a ninety-four. Yeah. Okay. What can you take off? What can you take away from the points of the movie? If we're starting at a hundred and you got the detract points for anything bad that happened in the movie. What? How many points uh, can you literally take oh, off of it? Of course, not many. Not many. Because I'm, the movie really is a well put yeah, together, it, well written, well acted, well plot driven, well character developed but it, movie. I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't give it five stars. I mean, even though you can't take nothing away from it, I still like. What do you give Get, get Out this year? Uh, out of six stars, Get Out could get a six. Me too. Yeah, I, I, out I, I agree, a hundred percent on that. What do you give Wonder Woman? Five and a half. I'm with you there. I give it a it's five. It's damn near perfect. Yeah. Wonder Woman. All, like what do you give Logan? Woo! Five, five and a half. Five and a half. You're, I thought you were going to say six. No. Logan, really? Logan about a five and a half. Yeah. So you, you're giving... Uh, the only thing I took off of Logan is that I wasn't shocked by anything. I was and surprised. That disappointed that he, uh, me. I wanted to see well, like Juggernaut or somebody. Yeah, you <laughs> said we've seen him fight himself. Yeah, we've okay, seen Logan So with that being said, so you, you would give Water Planet Apes just like a half star below Logan? I would. Okay. I would. Now, now, just because it, the thing about it is this, ratings are weird because it's a difference between something getting a high rating for when it comes out and something being a legendary movie. I don't think this is going to be a legendary movie. I don't know if we'll be talking about this five, ten years. Just down the a line. really good, but ass, but like but you can't. I can't take points off of it. So if I if I'm starting at six stars. In order t- for me to take points off of it, I got to find something wrong with the movie. So it's nothing wrong with the movie. So even though the movie may not be may not be a personal favorite of mine, personally, what can you really, I can't really take points off of the movie. Well written, well acted, well directed, visually, probably the best I've ever seen visually yeah i can't take enough stuff off of it You're to right. bring it below a five even though it wouldn't be my personal favorite nah, movie I'll, from the summer i'll give it a four and i hear what you're saying you really honestly people you can't say anything negative about this movie i mean you might be a you little can't nit- say anything negative you, probably, about you, it. you could be nitpicky and say something here and there but really there's nothing negative from beginning to end this movie is very well put together yes, the acting is. the scenery all oh, some of the shots that they had was amazing yep. the cinematography of the movie was great the, uh, like I said, the acting, the CGI, the storyline, the plot, the end, everything was great about the movie. But I just can't – I can't give it five stars. I give it four. But it's, are you not giving it five stars just because you want to be that tough judge that doesn't give everybody – Four way stars I, on a – I mean because you sitting there saying it's nothing really wrong You can't wrong pull nothing from it. You got to justify it a four out of a six-star star system. Yeah, but it's like when I watched the movie, I never once in the movie was like, wow, this is an amazing movie. Not like I did with like Get Out. Like when I watched Get Out, I was like, "Holy shit, this is a good." As movie. far as like, you mean like fresh? Well, not nah, not even just like a good movie. Wow factor. I like I told Juicy on the, on one of the last podcasts we done. I think it's going. I mean, it's hard to wow us with action movies again. No, it's not. I think so. Every year I get wow. I, I think it's, 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 I said it's, it's plan- hard, but I didn't say plan- it was impossible. Okay, but I said it's hard. But it's Planet of the Apes. Not a, it's not an action movie. Yeah, per no, it's not. An I, I get movie. wowed all the time by movies. Still, it's not hard. I mean, it's not hard to what watch. What movies like, have you been wowed by lately? I was honestly. What has what has 
genuinely wowed you. Split and Get Out this year wowed me. Split. And I had to throw Wonder Woman in there. Wonder Woman, I was wowed by Wonder Woman. Yeah, I Wonder was, Woman was fresh and new though. We've I was never seen anything like expect, Wonder. That's Woman. what I'm saying. I, 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 you can't. Yeah, you can say it's hard to. How wow many us. fresh ideas you got? You coming this year? from Hollywood? Coming from Hollywood? Like Other baby than driver, get out, get baby out, driver. baby, baby driver wasn't. It ain't like we've like, never seen anything but, like. But it was baby so fr- it, it was fresh. fresh. It was it new. was fresh, that's but it's not like we've never seen it. Were were you wowed by Baby Driver? No, I don't Baby even know. Baby was a really good movie. I didn't ask that. I said, were you no, wild? Wow. Okay. But we just get three saying. instances that, you I'm know. I'm just saying it's not, it's, it's, I'm not saying it's hard to wow us, but it's possible. And it's possible in simple ways, too. Like, the first Guardians of the Galaxy was nothing special, but it was, it wowed me. Yeah, but you're not talking about the third. Were you wowed by the second one? No. I didn't like the second it. one at all. You'd seen it. But this, this, it's this, the same old thing this movie here. to me was pretty damn good. It didn't wow it was. me. The it first was. one wowed me. The first one wowed me a lot, but I, but but what I'm saying, you giving it a four? Are you doing that just because you want to be that judge that doesn't give everything a great rating, and you just feel like yeah, you need, I, I'm, because I don't give six stars easily. Because see, I I don't think that you you should just hold out on giving a movie a fair rating just because I don't want to be that deserve, guy that gives it doesn't deserve five, every movie. It doesn't a high des- deserve five stars. It was not as good as Get Out and Split this year. Definitely wasn't. It wasn't as good as, as uh, Wonder Woman. And Wonder Woman has five stars to me. Okay, but if you not if you going on a scale of what is this movie like, uh, d- despite your personal preference, mm-hmm. it's not my favorite movie of no. the summer. But I'm saying, how, how can you justify? Taking that many points off of the movie. Because I felt like they could have done more with it. You thought it could have been more they could have done I f- with it? I this feel movie? as though they could have done more. I, 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 I can't say there's nothing negative about the movie, but I can say they could have added more. I felt that there was more slow spots. They could have added more war to the movie. The movie didn't have much war to it, a lot of slow areas. The only beginning, the beginning entrance when they had that big fight scene and then t- kind of towards the end. They didn't have much war in the movie. There's a lot of oppression in the movie, yeah. a lot of fighting from, from, from the underdog standpoint. It wasn't much war. I, I guess I'm coming from a standpoint. I'm looking at it like, just because it's not your personal favorite movie, yeah, does it? I don't think you have to judge it on that scale. I would give Interstellar a number six, but Interstellar wouldn't be in my top ten favorite movies to watch. Mm-hmm. But if I'm grading it on a scale of six, current climate six. scale, I'd give it a six. It's okay. probably the most perfect movie I've ever watched. All right, so. We're going to end it right there. Make sure y'all check out uh, Ward Planet of the Apes. Um, comment, like, share. Uh, tell us what you think if you saw the movie. Uh, just, just let us know, man. Give and us some if, feedback. And everybody, uh, while you're watching it, try your best to shut up while you're watching it, okay? Do that. There you go. Okay? All right. Do that for This me. is Current Climate. My name is Christian Dane. Juicy, say something to the people. That's racist. That's racist. Shaw, say something to the I people. I don't like it. It's crude. It's racist. <laughs> it's insulting. Uh, it's insensitive. Uh, whatever. Alright. Y'all have a good night. Uh, goodbye. Go train on my two fuck shit without the nose ring. I'm a hooky shit. Fuck with these folks thing. If Jake can make it from Morsi, then I'm gonna hide a couple bricks under my car seat. Ah, tell my mama I was never sorry. Tell her that they got me going 60 and a 40. Ah, catch me, nigga. Screaming, catch me, nigga. I'm too fast. Don't test me, nigga. Came from the bottle, single mother never used food stamps. I man, product of my environment. I'm tired, man. Put the metal to my little nigga's chest. No Tony Stark, but I keep that iron, man. Breathe, nigga. Breathe. The last thing he hears is the sound of a gun ring. What America don't give a fuck, it's the death of another young king.